Hello, I am Nicole Nelson Jean, Associate Principal Deputy Assistant Secretary for Field Operations at the Department of Energy's Office of Environmental Management. As the largest environmental cleanup program in the world, the Department of Energy's Office of Environmental Management, or EM, is responsible for safely completing cleanup resulting from decades of nuclear weapons development and government-sponsored nuclear energy research. When EM was first established in 1989, it was responsible for the cleanup of 107 sites in 35 states. Today, 16 sites remain, including the Los Alamos National Laboratory in Los Alamos, New Mexico. Los Alamos National Laboratory, or LANL, was established in 1943 as a site of the Manhattan Project for a single purpose, to design and build an atomic bomb. It took just 20 months to detonate the world's first atomic bomb, 200 miles south of Los Alamos at the Trinity site on the Almogordo bombing range. While executing its mission during the Manhattan Project and Cold War eras, LANO released approximately 400,000 cubic meters of hazardous and radioactive materials into the environment. EM investigates hazardous contamination as a result of past LANO operations and remediate sites where such materials are found above acceptable regulatory levels. This is known as the Legacy Cleanup Mission. Legacy Cleanup at LANL has been funded by EM since 1988 and was performed by the National Nuclear Security Administration, or NNSA, the site landlord, and its management and operating contractor. In 2015, the work has been transitioned to the Environmental Management Los Alamos Field Office, or EMLA. The cleanup of contaminated sites follows the requirements of the 2016 Compliance Order on Consent with the New Mexico Environment Department. Cleanup locations include sites of former LANO buildings, hillsides, canyon bottoms, and old landfills. Mission activities include surface and groundwater monitoring and remediation, removing contaminated soil, and decontaminating and decommissioning surplus process contaminated buildings. Additionally, EM retrieves, remediates, packages, and disposes of radioactive waste. Most low-level and mixed low-level waste is transported from LANO and disposed of in commercial licensed facilities, while transuranic waste is disposed of at the Waste Isolation Pilot Plant located in Carlsbad, New Mexico. EM is committed to transparency and public input on the legacy cleanup. EM frequently participates in public discussions on its mission at stakeholder-led events, such as the Northern New Mexico Citizens Advisory Board meetings and Los Alamos County Council meetings. Additionally, technical working groups are held with members to solicit feedback on ongoing cleanup activities and future priorities too. While much has changed in the ensuing decades, LANO remains one of the country's foremost national laboratories and scientific institutions. Cutting-edge research continues to drive LANO's core mission to ensure the safety, security, and effectiveness of the nation's nuclear deterrent, reduce global threats, and solve emerging national security challenges. EMLA ensures the successful execution of EM's mission at LANO. Water remediation continues to be a priority. There are two legacy groundwater contamination plumes at LANO run by EM. One plume contains hexavalent chromium and is being addressed by a pump and treat system on an interim basis while a final remedy is under development. 
The second plume has chemicals dated back to early explosives work and is undergoing potential remediation alternatives. EM is taking significant steps for storage of the waste that is buried in 26 material disposal areas dispersed throughout Llano. There are approximately 3,500 cubic meters of legacy transuranic waste stored at Technical Area 54, destined for disposal at the Waste Isolation Pilot Plant. EM is ensuring the storage is protective of the environment, workers, and the public. So far, Lano has made significant wins. Of the more than 2,100 contaminated areas originally identified for remediation, more than half have been cleaned and closed. EM has also shipped over 4,000 drums of transuranic waste off-site, deactivated and demolished over 90% of the buildings at Technical Area 21, closed eight material disposal areas, implemented an interim measure to control the migration of the hexvalent chromium plume, and completed its first consent order campaign. The last remaining building industrial waistlines, and slabs at Technical Area 21 will be demolished. A final remedy will be implemented for the hexvalent chromium plume. And the last remaining building and a process for disposal and soil cleanup will be completed. While EM's mission evolves, it will remain dedicated to safe, efficient, and effective cleanup Members of the local and neighboring communities, including the Pueblos, are all involved. EM's mission at Llano will continue to share the same goal, to ensure the protection of workers, the public, and the environment. <laughs>